All right, how's it going, everyone? It's Nick Atkin here with Sports Kita MMA on location in Doha, Qatar for 1 166. This man is going to face Jared Brooks as he looks to regain that strawweight MMA championship. Joshua Pasho, how you doing, man? Good to see you again. Great, man. You know, um, uh, it's a bit challenging coming here, but, you know, we're here. We're already here. Three days away. Can't wait. Challenging getting here. Do you mean uh, it was a long journey? Yeah, I think a little bit problem in the airport, but okay. <laughs> yeah. It took me 24 hours to get from uh, my my house to my hotel, so I know what you feel it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's too much. Well, I didn't have any problems at the airport, thank God. But uh, we're all here now. That's what matters. And you're looking to win that belt back. This guy's been talking so much trash about you, but you know he does that, right? Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, I know you and Jared secretly are like BFFs. It's all good. Like, <laughs> there's there's some mutual respect there, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, you will see real martial artists, you know, that's respect. So that's what we have, respect. But, you know, we go to war first. We go to war first. And you've been training now out of Lions Nation for a long time. Do you feel this is a different Joshua Pascio? I think the first time you fought, you had just made that move to uh, the new gym, but now you've got uh, you know a year at least there, and you've been working with with Edward. And is this is this a new you? Yeah, definitely, it's a new me, and you know, that's like a one year, almost one year, I think. And there's a lot of changes. A lot of uh, learnings, happenings, you know, and today I'm more confident. Thank God, go coming here to this fight. You know, I'm more confident than ever, and uh, I'm confident with my skills, with my team. That's it. You say you're confident. Do you think Jared Brooks is too confident? Do you think he's arrogant? He's been saying all this. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna beat Joshua and I'm gonna go fight Demetrius Johnson. Is he overlooking you at all? Yeah, I think he's overlooking at me. You know, uh, right now, I'm the biggest challenge he have, and he shouldn't been overlooking at me. You know, because. I'm going to go out there and give my all and get that belt. And you were in Manila last time. We know how many fans were there, but there's going to be a lot of Filipino fans here as well. I know there's a huge community of yeah. Filipinos in, in Qatar. Do you feel like you have the home advantage again? Um, I don't feel like that, you know, the home advantage, but I'm so blessed that there's a lot of Filipino here. Feel big Filipino community that's coming to support me, and yes, yeah, uh, uh, motivation. I think is a big motivation for me too. You know, because not just in Doha, all around the world, Filipinos are all over. <laughs> they are. They are. They're going to be here a lot. They're going to be cheering you on. But look, we know what Jared does, and he seemed to get the better of you, you know, on the ground is, is his forte, his specialty. You, you held your own, you, you know, you, he didn't submit you, but is there anything you're going to do differently this time that he doesn't know about? Uh, I know I, I respect him a lot. I respect his skills. He's very strong, very talented. His IQ is different, so... That's why, that's one of my motivation to level up. That's one of my motivation to train harder. And that's what I did one year, you know, going up to this rematch. So that's why I'm confident coming up to this fight. Yeah, he says it's his time, but you're still young as well. You're still getting better every year. We see it in the Mansur Malakia fight. Have you even hit your peak yet? <laughs> I think no, not yet. I think I'm gonna hit my peak like 30, 29, 30, 31, like that. Man, but honestly, these guys, all my opponents made me better, made me who I am today, made me work harder. So 
it's about them, you know. That's why I'm here competing against the best in the world. And I'm just so happy right now. All right, well, look, we know Jared likes to talk as well. Do you have any message for him? I'm, I'm sure you'll be interacting with him at the press conference tonight, but uh, what do you have to say to him? Ah, uh, maybe in, I don't think I'd, I'll be, you know, uh, I'll be doing interaction, like uh, ugly, ugly interaction. And now uh, that's what, uh i did in the last and it got into my head so right now i'm just gonna do my thing and he's gonna do his thing and at the end of the day you know we'll see when that cage when that circle shuts and two of us are gonna try to break each other's face a simple message. I like it. Joshua Pacho, thanks for speaking to me. See you at this press conference tonight. Jared Brooks, this is going to be a huge rematch in Doha, Qatar. 1-166.